She's an Emmy-nominated journalist, motivational speaker, and author with a background in entertainment and lifestyle programming. Laura Saltman combines journalism with the spiritual, adding in heart, humor, and a little bit of pop culture to motivate people to be their best, most authentic self. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being here. I love that, to be their best. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's talk about your past. You've had quite a career, haven't you? Yeah. I, you know what? I'm so grateful to have been on Access Hollywood. Oh, Access uh, for, Hollywood. Yep. I was nice. their digital correspondent. I did their weekend show. And, you know, I've covered everything. Red I've covered carpet. the Oscars, the Emmys, the Golden Globes. I was the American Idol's biggest cheerleader when that show was on. Kardashians. And so, yeah, the Kardashians, <laughs> you name it, J-Lo. I was obsessed with J-Lo. <laughs> And, you know, I was living quite an amazing life. And so then what everything happened? changed. Uh, well, first of all, you know, this, it's a rewarding life, but it also takes its toll. It's it a lot of superficial things. It's very things. superficial. Mm -hmm. It's somewhat difficult sometimes. Yes. You've got to put a different face on. Yeah. Right? And towards the end of um, my run at Access Hollywood, my brother actually was diagnosed with cancer, and he died of stomach cancer uh, about a year after he was diagnosed. I'm so sorry. And so that changes your life. It puts it everything does. in perspective for you. He? he was 47. And that's, that's where everything in my life changed. And then about a year and a half later, my dad um, committed suicide. I say that he lost his will to live. And he had some other problems. He had COPD and some other things. But I think he really just didn't want to live after he lost his firstborn son. So and you so, lose your brother and father. Yes, within a span of a year and a half. And that's not it. I mean, I had uh, two miscarriages. My um, now ex-husband and I were trying to adopt, and we lost three babies um, through different reasons in adoption. The last one on the, ba the day the baby was oh born. Goodness. And then um, I got divorced. I was diagnosed with skin cancer. I mean, things just kept piling up in my life. And, and how so, did you get through that, if I could ask? Yeah, I found a spiritual path. I had met with this spiritual life coach who helped me, and I worked with her for two years. And in that, she kind of opened up this intuitive gift. I kind of always knew I had. I mean, in my book, you can read all like the stories calling, of will. like where, yeah, like where I would hear things mm. and like weird things would happen. I would like walk into a room and be like, oh, there's ghosts in here. I can feel it. I know it. Those type of things. So she helped me open that up. And she also opened my eyes to a, a better way of life to connect with, you know, whatever you call that. It's God, spirit, source, universe, whatever you want to call it. Which led to then and your book. Which is this led to my book in the Made middle of the night. Of everything. A spiritual guide to inner world domination. You asked questions on the red carpet, and here you're asking questions to God. You're yeah. having a conversation with God. Yes, it is. It's very similar to a conversation with God, which uh, conversations with God, which is a um, Neil Donald that. Walsh book. It's like a Q and A. I sat down in the middle of the night and I just started asking questions, and sure enough the answers would come right back to me. And how has that helped you? The book is life changing. When you read it, it's it's explaining things in a way that is it's so simple to understand and it's really so easy to know that we're all connected to that source and we all can tap into it, whether you call it prayer or intention mm -hmm. or whatever you it is for you, controlled emotion, whatever it is, knowing that we are guided by this source and we can tap back into that at any time we're struggling. And that's really what I've what has been taught to me. And I use those principles myself and when I am having hard times I stop for a second I pray I meditate I set my intentions I do everything that's in this book and you obviously to want to help it. others as well and I want to help other people you know Olga we all are not going to get out of this life unscathed we no. all have our problems we my problems are are hard but there's plenty of people who have even worse problems so I want people to know that there is a better way you can go through tragedy you can go through loss and you can come out the other side by using this knowing this connection to get yourself out of that. And, and I love how you life. end here, and I wanted to read this real quick. It says, I am living proof that if you do the work, set intentions, pray daily, ask questions, and recognize the signs and messages, life can be joyful and miraculous, even after heartache and tragedy. Your signs and messages are everywhere if you just look for them. For our viewers to learn more about you and this fabulous book, where do they go, Laura? Just go to my website, laurasaltman.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. God bless you. And you can always go to our website to learn more about the all of everything about Laura. Go to thebalancingact.com.